So, in order to draw this figure, which has the horizontal dimension as 13 units and the vertical dimension as 8 units. Let us bring up our micro session screen. And in this, with a new file, totally empty file, we'll start off by using this place smart line option. Okay. In this option, you have a number of sub options that is linear elements toolbar. You have a number of types of lines. The first one which we'll be seeing now is the smart line option. Okay, I'll click on smart line. Let us close this. It's not required. Now, after selecting this, as we saw in the previous session, whenever you use any of these toolbars options, that is any of these tools, you will be getting the sub options over here. If you come out of the command, then you will be getting the element selection. This element selection toolbar and this acute draw, these two floating toolbars, you can turn them on or off from here. Okay. Using your primary tools toolbar, you have these two options over here. Now, right now, this element selection is being displayed over here. I'll go over here and click on pop set enable. When I click on this, now that element selection window will vanish. It will only be displayed when I move my cursor towards either this option, that is pop set enable. Again, if I move away, it will not be displayed. In this way, it will display element select over here when I move only to that particular option. Suppose I take my smart line command now, then those sub options, these sub options will only be displayed as long as my cursor is either in this window or on this option. If I move my cursor away, that window will vanish. That is your pop set enable or pop set disable. If I move my cursor onto this area, it will be shown only for this tool. If I have it on any other tool, it won't be displayed or else if I move it over here, only then it will be displayed. This is your pop set enable for element selection option. If I come out of the command, now element selection will not be displayed unless I move it over here. So for convenience, I'll turn it on and let us have it somewhere over here. The next is your acute draw. This acute draw is used for entering the dimensions. You can toggle it on or off by selecting over here. Click on toggle acute draw and now it has been turned off. Click on it again and it will be turned on in this way. That is your acute draw option. Okay. okay, so after this, let us now see how to draw this particular figure. We'll start off from here and proceed along this direction. So I'm selecting the smart line option and I'll select the first point anywhere randomly on the screen. After selecting the first point, I need to specify a distance of 13 units in the horizontal direction. You can see over here, horizontal is X, that is the red colored direction. Over here you have this option. So in this direction, I'll keep my cursor in the rightward direction and I'll type in on my keyboard the value 13, which is being entered in the acute draw. Okay. After I type in 13, hit enter and then click left but mouse button. Now you have drawn the line 13 units. Right now it's not being shown clearly because you're, you're too far from the line. That is you need to zoom in towards that line. I'll go over here, click on fit view. And now this is the line which we saw. Okay. So this line is now 13 units long. Let us zoom out a little. I'm panning it. Over here in this way. Right. Now I'll again take the smart line option, select this point over here and now I needn't go with the zooming in and zooming out any further. I know my limits of the screen right now. Okay. So in this direction I'll specify a distance of 8, enter, then left click. Whenever you enter the dimension, firstly the first step is to specify the direction by using your mouse. In that direction enter the value. Enter the value, say 13. Enter, then left click. Then again specify the direction over here. In this way, you will enter 8, enter and left click again. That is how you will be creating this rectangle. 
Now it is 13 units in the horizontal direction and 8 units in the vertical direction. Pull down your shift key in order to pan it. Moving it away. Now, again, let us go for this figure. This figure over here, which we have of the alphabet H. We can start off using the smart line, select it over here in this direction. I will have to move a distance of 9. So in this direction, I am typing in 9, enter and left click. Then in this direction, horizontally, we need to move a distance of from here to here. That is 13 minus 5, which is 8 by 2. That is 4 over here, this side, and 4 over here, this side. Select 4 over here, 4, enter, left click. Always, each time you enter a dimension, you need to first specify the direction, then enter the value, then hit enter, then left click. Okay. So total is 9, this is 3, so 3 over here and 3 over here. So the 3 plus 3 plus 3 becomes 9. Select 3, enter and left click. In this direction, enter 5, enter and left click. Back 3, enter and left click. 4, enter and left click. In this way. 9, enter and left click. That is how you will be creating this entire figure. In this direction, type in 4, enter, left click. Then this vertical direction, 3, enter, left click. After you have done it, right click to come out of the command, that is to accept the given figure. Right. This is how you can create this particular drawing. After this, suppose if you have any inclined lines, okay. like for example in this figure you have these inclined lines. We will see how to create these inclined lines. But before that, in order to delete the already existing lines, you can go with two methods which we have seen. Click on element selection, click on them and hit your delete button or press on this that is delete element option and click on delete element. But right now if I go with fit view, you have two figures. You can select element delete, click on this, click on this, click on this and this is how you have deleted this figure. Okay. The other option is go with undo and click over here in this space. This space over here, click on this and click on select all option. Go with select all, all and the entire figure will get selected. All the objects that are present in your drawing will get selected. Then hit your delete button. All the objects get deleted. Okay. Right, so that is how you will be creating that particular figure and deleting it. Now, let us go with this figure. This figure over here which we have has to move in 13 units direction. That is, this is 13 which is being followed over here as well. This is 13 units. This distance horizontally is 3 and vertically also it will be 3 from here to here. Because totally it is 6, half of it at the midpoint is 3 units. Okay, This distance is given as 7, so we have all the dimensions. Now in order to create this figure, we will be using inclined lines. right? Using the same command we will be doing it, but in the next session. I will stop the session over here.